Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the first video in the series in which we're going to be helping our ally Beckett, who is currently trapped down at the Rollins work camp. Taking a look at the map, he's all the way down here in the center of the ash heap. Well, not quite the center, but very close to the center of the ash heap. Uh, I've actually done a surveil video on this location before, so I'll link it, and you can see what this place looked like before Wastelanders. Uh, but let's head over there now. Huh. Well, I thought maybe I was being shot at- oh! Okay, so the- You fast travel into... Enemies. <laughs> okay, well, that's been dealt with now, at least. Uh, <laughs> let's drink some water real quick and then we'll get into this. Okay. Now let's head up here. Yeah, it's strange that they actually have you- f like, there are enemies in the fast travel point. <laughs> Okay, looks like it's pointing us up here at the uh, large uh, steam shovel. Obviously not really what it's called, but for some reason that's the only thing that's coming to mind. Excavator is probably the best term for it. Hmm, interesting looking camp. Definitely Blood Eagles. I mean, we just killed some, so that was pretty obvious, but that's the Blood Eagles logo right there as well. Any traps? Surprisingly, no traps. That's odd, really. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. From a lot of the uh, background dialogue you hear from the Blood Eagles, I think that a lot of them are having trouble with the fact that they're raiders. They don't like what they're doing, actually. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. Sounds like they set off an alarm. Oop. Surprisingly low level, although this is the ash heap. So it's not that surprising, I guess. Who else is still out here? Well, they. Oh, whoa! Jeez! That was a nice little sneak attack that guy pulled. He almost got me. Okay, anybody else out here? Nope, we're hidden again. Alright, so... Huh. They're actually using military barricades. We got a uh, power armor station here. These trailers were here before Wastelanders. They just upgraded the site overall. Let's check out the interior of this. Just a couple bunk beds. I don't think I really want to ever sleep in the ash heap. I feel like that's just asking me to get black lung within, like, a week. Uh, toolbox. Okay, some junk and some shotgun shells. Why didn't I pick up that adjustable wrench? I always pick up gears. And aluminum. Alright, anything else? Got a nice little recreational area up there. Some meat. Okay. Let's head up the uh, container tower here. I don't know why I thought it- oh, because there are containers at the base. For a minute I forgot why I called it Container Tower. <laughs> okay. That- that guy was dead beforehand. I <laughs> just realized that. Because it just says Raider Corpse. Okay. Even though all the rest of these are Raider Corpses. Okay. Anything- oh, we got a uh, holotape here. Blood Eagles Ashtray. Okay. Not sure who they were referring to there, but uh, we'll probably find out eventually. Okay, let's head into the digger. Any guards in here? No. And there's Beckett. Uh, let's take a look out here real quick. Got a uh, surgical tray and a desk fan. Got some other small bits of junk, but not really anything I want. Uh, oh, we gotta have a key, but we can talk to him. I think. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hey, you! You need to let me out of here. Look, I 
need to get out of here. Okay, these blood eagles are gonna kill me, but only after they mess me up. You get me? No, it's not gonna be pleasant. There's probably a good reason that you're in there. Yes and no. Look, as far as the blood eagles are concerned, yes. But as far as you and I are concerned, no. How about we do story time later? Just get me out of here. I'll help after you tell me why you're in there. Oh, for the love of... Okay, quick version. Okay. I used to be part of this gang. I left, they nabbed me, and now they want to make a lesson out of me. How's that? You must have really pissed them off. Oh, you think? Look, you get me out of here first, and then we'll trade campfire stories. All right, now's not the time. Fair enough. Let's get you out of that cell. Now you're talking. Okay, the key should be around here somewhere. All right, probably in the room where the guy running this place sleeps. Be careful. Please. All right. Uh, let's see if we can't find that key. Okay. Let's see. Oh, well, it's pointing us over there. I just realized we could go up further on these stairs here. I think we killed somebody up here, but they seem to be gone. Anyway, let's. I think they were right down here anyway. So let's head down and then up. Uh, before we came up on the other side, is that the only way to get up this thing? Kind of looks like it. Oh yeah, I got marsupial. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, we got a weight set down there. I think I'm doing... Yeah, I'm pretty close to loaded up. So I'm going to leave those there, but uh, let's head up here. Uh, Beckett's jail cell key. And let's head back over. Oh. Interesting. I already killed everybody here, but since the alarm's going off... You're going to be my new plate. Okay. Sounds good. Just tell me where you are. I really enjoy the fire rate on this gun. Okay. Ooh, look at all those stim packs. Very nice. Okay. I wish uh, reload and, and checking their gear was not the same button. <laughs> I could probably change that, but I don't really want to do that right now. Oh. Uh, I thought that was everyone, but I hear somebody else. Ah! The dog. Oh. Whoa! These guys are really good at sneaking up on you. More stim packs. Okay. That was a lot of guys. Okay. Let's head back in there. Wait. Did I hear myself walking up the stairs or did I hear somebody else? Someone else. Where are you? Alright, let's head in there. All right, let's unlock the door. How you doing, Beckett? Oh, thanks. We're not in the clear yet, are we? All right, listen. I need to ask you for one other thing before we get out of this place. The gang took a bunch of my stuff. Things that I need in order to track down their leaders. Can you help me get them back? You're sure it's your stuff, or are you tricking me into stealing something? No, it's mine, okay? I've already spent too much time gathering information on these idiots. I can't afford to start over. Believe me, if I wanted you to steal something for me, I'd be straight with you about it. What am I looking for? It's my bag full of radio signals, contacts, maps, general notes that I took so I could destroy these shits once and for all. Uh, also, has some of my personal belongings in it. A, a sketch I, I made for a bar I wanted to open someday. When things settle down, Goals, you know. What are you gonna do? I'll make a lot of noise and try to draw them off while you do your thing. No problem. I'll get your stuff. Good. All right, I'll run interference while you get the heck out of here. Just distract those morons. You know the drill. Where should we meet up after all this? Do you have some sort of place where you're squatting? Or... You don't have a place to go? Nope. Look, after they grab me, the gang burned my digs to the ground. I got nothing. Meet me at my camp. Okay, sounds like a plan. But, 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 but I need you to build something uh, that I can recognize from a distance. If I see it at your place, I'll know I'm welcome. In my bag, I've got a sketch of something that should do the trick. You'll know it when you see it. 
I overheard they took my stuff to the sludge works. Now, it's not too far from here, I think. Okay. Wish me luck. I would, but I've already killed everybody out there, so I don't know what interference you're going to be running. I'm going to take your purified water and your dinner trays. Whoa, look at all that aluminum. Beautiful. Oh, another one. Okay. Uh, let's get out there. Oh, good. There are more of them. <laughs> Is that it? Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. I think there was only a couple of them. Okay. Maybe just one of them, even. Alright, well, uh, Sledgeworks is a new location. Uh, right down here. I've actually uh, got a shot of it beforehand, but we'll show that when we get close. My hope is that we're going to get some sort of history on the Blood Eagles and doing these quests for Beckett. Uh, just because currently I have no idea of exactly who they are other than bloodthirsty raiders. I don't know. Whoa. Drogles. Uh, I don't really know where they came from, why they're doing what they're doing. Did they maybe used to be part of other raider groups? You know, things like that. I guess we'll find out soon enough, though. Alright, let me show you my uh, before picture. Okay, who are they fighting? So they're definitely fighting somebody. And okay, I heard somebody playing the banjo, but it sounds like they stopped. Oh, oh never mind, they're back doing it again. Uh the Fosnoct event is going on right now. I might do a video or two on that. I already did a video on that last year when it came out. Uh, I'm not sure if they changed it much this year. I'll have to look into that. It uh, was delayed temporarily when uh, turns out they had a an, the heck was that when they had an issue with uh, small animals uh, critters not spawning and you have to use uh, their guts. <laughs> okay. Oh, they are shooting at me, I guess. They just still don't know where I am. And I'm not even wearing a stealth suit. I guess maybe they think I'm one of their own while I'm wearing this raider outfit. It says caution, but I haven't seen anybody, so... Ooh. That's just dirty water? I would really have assumed that was toxic water. But I guess not. Okay. Hey, they got a uh, power armor suit. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. We just heard a raider. With uh, one of those lovely stealth lines, like uh, How did I get to this point? Skyrim, when you shoot one of them in the face, they got an arrow sticking out of it, but they can't find you, and eventually chalk it up to the wind. Okay, it's a power armored soldier. Thought it was another attack. Thank goodness it wasn't another attack, huh? <laughs> That was an excellent use of a silenced shotgun, if I do say so myself. Okay. Oh. There he is. Keep trying. Okay. I think everyone's dead here, so let's grab Beckett's belongings. Oh, we got a note. You're the dumbass. Spelled improperly. Bill. Your sign is clever and everything, but you left the floor out. What? You can make everything else, but you can't make a floor? Propping it up on center blocks was smart, but how can we exact punishment if cur prisoners can just slide underneath and run away? At a floor, Brit. Okay, apparently they've got a jail cell without a floor to it or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's grab Beckett's belongings. I got a safe here. Okay. Technical data in there and some other junk I don't really want. Okay. Uh, oh. So Beckett had a dream of building a bar someday. And the way that he's going to uh, feel comfortable coming to your camp is if he sees that you've built his bar for him at your camp. Let's go take care of that. 
I mean, this, uh, the way I fast travel into this location isn't as bad as on my other character, but it's still not great. Okay, so I built him a little room off the side of the house back over there. Uh, let's see if we can't find a place to set up his bar. Should be an allies. Beckett's bar. Okay. I'll set it up here. Sounds like something else is trying to kill my crops, but I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Oh, there's Beckett. Thought I heard something else, though. Oh, well. Alright. It looks like we're getting a quest and completing this one, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, there we go. Quest completed. Ally narrow escape. My own bar. <laughs> Finally. Man, I still can't believe it. <laughs> okay, so I just leveled up to 70. Uh, what else do we get for that? Anything? Apparently not. Let's talk to Beckett. Wow! The bar looks great! I mean, even better than I'd imagined. Yeah, thanks for giving me a place to crash, huh? Why, uh... Why'd you break me out of Rollins, anyway? I mean, you don't know me. I... I could be a bloodthirsty maniac, an axe-wielding ex-con, a door-to-door -door salesman. Huh. Let's try the uh, charisma option. I am out of great mentats, dang. Simple. Raiders make my skin crawl. Oh, well, uh, I hope that doesn't include ex-raiders, because uh, I've left that life behind. Ah, look, uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Now, these blood eagles are bad news. They need to go down. Hard. You already stuck it to them once at the labor camp, so I know you've got what it takes. You feel like helping me wipe out the rest of these chumps? They're bad news for who? For everyone in Appalachia. I mean, they're out of control. But they take what they want and kill anyone that gets in their way. But when their numbers start to drop, they kidnap innocent settlers force them to join the gang by shoving chems down their throat. Uh, the things I've seen them do would make you sick. That's why I bailed out. That was too much. Even for me. Let's wipe them out. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. If we want to take the blood eagles down, killing the sheep isn't going to do the trick. We need to go after the shepherds. But before we head down that road, we'll need help. Which means I need to right a few wrongs. These wrongs, I'm getting the feeling they're pretty dark if you're willing to risk your life to fix them. Oh, ho, ho. Well, we got a mind reader here. Uh, you want to dig into what I've done? Fine. I've killed people, okay? Killed them for as little as looking at me the wrong way. Thanks for reviving that painful memory. There's no way we can kill every last one of the Blood Eagles. No, of course not. But taking down the top dogs would reduce them to a bunch of unorganized stragglers. And that's why we concentrate on targeting their leadership. What kind of wrongs are we talking about? Oh, I don't know. Take your pick. I've stolen, I've looted. Pretty much pulled every dirty trick in the book. What's this help you're talking about? Well, since I'm not exactly responder material, that doesn't leave me many options now, does it? Let's just say I tend to keep mixed company. Don't worry, though. I'm pretty sure my friends will help us out. Well, I uh, think so, anyway. Fine. Let's do it. Ah, good. I know exactly where we should start. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin, who, uh... Piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. Okay. Can you handle that? This bar of yours, is it stocked? Always. What do you need? Incredible, given that I just built it. <laughs> I need something to drink. I tell you what, I'll buy this round. And the rest will be out of your pocket. This stuff doesn't come cheap, you know. Oh, okay. Is that... He gave us a new Coca-Cola Quantum and it immediately opened up his inventory. Uh, let's talk to him about Edwin's diary. Good lord, look at that. That's not a bug I've seen since the game launched. 
And of course, there wasn't anybody around rubbing rags on tables to leave giant shader marks behind, but it was originally in the game that you would pick up an item and the shadow would hang around for a good two or three seconds. Um, let's talk to him. Back for more Beckett, eh? Can't say I blame you. So, who's Edwin, anyway? Well, he's the leader of a different gang of raiders. Really tough guy. Sharpened his teeth to points. You know, classy. See, his diary has a lot of, uh, precious, sad little secrets. Uh, stuff you wouldn't want your gang to hear, if you catch my meaning. Well, to impress the Eagles, I sort of stole the diary and stashed it away. So, he's not exactly thrilled with me right now. Okay. I'll be back soon. Bye. Thanks. I'll put the word out for a mutual contact while you're out. See if I can arrange for a meeting. And also, before you head out, thanks for letting me stay here with no strings attached. <laughs> Yet. Anyway. Huh? <laughs> I'll pull my weight around here. I will. Alright. Well, let's see. Where is that going to take us? Let's see. Okay, so in... It seems like the overall quest here, just like with Commander Daguerre, it was the woman who fell to Earth. His overall quest is an eagle flies free. So let's do this current quest, which is Dirty Little Secrets. Let's see where that is on the map. Okay, that looks like it's down near the Trapper's Camp. Uh, well, not quite, but let's head down to the Devil's Backbone. Devil's Backbone, a uh, real landmark that they put into the game. Okay, let's see. I love marsupial. <laughs> Although it looks like I might need to equip goat legs. Because I'm probably going to have to drop down this cliff. Oh, this is the freak show, isn't it? Yeah! And it's uh, overrun with albino toads. Okay. I might just be... Well, should I really take that risk? No. Goat legs. 80% less fall damage. Not something I use very commonly, but it does have its uses. Blowing disease mole rat, huh? I just saw a trap that was friendly, which is interesting. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Good old healing factor. What? Wait, it's saying that this is starting the quest? I thought we already had it. Find Edwin's di Edwin's diary for Beckett. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Edwin's diary. That was odd. <laughs> I just started the quest that was already started. No rats. Is that it? Oh, oh we got a holotape here. Welcome to the Freak Show. Take all these caps. Okay. Let's get back to uh, to Beckett with Edwin's diary. Alright, let's hand it off. So, did you find it? Were you worried? Well, uh, a bit, sure. I don't know you. Heck, I don't even know if this is actually your place. I just, I just assume it is, uh, because... Who would lie about this? Anyway, I've got a plan, and it already involves you. But that's exciting to hear, right? So, get ready for it. I've got a buddy named Sage, who joined a stupid cult and got himself swept up into their nonsense. I, uh, need you to find him. Get him out of there. And in the meantime, I'll try and get this, uh, diary back to Edwin. Maybe that'll convince him to back us up. Hmm? Sound good? Whoa, my intelligence is below eight right now? That's, uh... 
Oh, that's right. I got that uh, marsupial. Dang, that uh, finished one. that quest. Oh. Gave us some stim packs, some two millimeter electromagnetic cartridges, and a shish kebab. So that was dirty little secrets. And I assume it's gonna. Well, maybe we have to talk to him again to start up the next quest. But uh, let's take some mintats. All <laughs> right. Mind me. Jeez, this diary is worse than I even remembered. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. That was a terrible place to hide it. Yeah, um, I'm sorry I stashed it there. I just, uh, you know, I was a terrible chem head back then. Uh, I lived in the moment. I made bad decisions. Uh, uh, speaking of which, I, uh, have more crap for my past to fix. And, uh, as my new therapy human, uh, I need your help. Are you sure Sage wants to be rescued? Uh... Kinda. I mean, look. I haven't met a cult that I thought was good for him yet. Hmm? He stays with them for a month or so, and then I have to bail him out. All I know is the more he experiments, the more it's messing with his mind. But trust me. <laughs> you'll see. Tell me more about Sage. Sage. He's a, a violent murderer, a sloppy thief, and used chems until his brain rotted down to almost nothing. Now he sees the world differently than we do. The last time I saw him, I was trying to get out of the Blood Eagles, and he was joining a new cult. What kind of cult are we talking about here? Well, for a while, he was into a Tato cult. <laughs> what? They just spoke to and then ate Tato's. Um, <laughs> I try not to judge, you know, so. Moving on, uh, then he was in a cult that believed we were all living in some kind of terminal program or robotic AI unit. That's okay. A, I don't remember anymore. Uh, then he did some uh, Mothman thing. Uh, okay. Might still be his jam. Or maybe he's into some other cryptid now. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't matter, honestly. No big deal. Consider it done. Seriously? Weird. I didn't even pay you anything. You're kind of creeping me out, honestly. Before you go... Care for a drink or anything? Have you always been a writer? <laughs> I might still be. I gotta check my membership cards. But seriously, yeah. It was fun. Rough, but fun. Picked up the wrong sort of attention and got pulled in the wrong direction. And bam! Instant Blood Eagle. Worst Blamco product ever. <laughs> Got any family that should know you're safe now? All I have left is a brother. Name's Frankie. But that's, uh... That's something we can talk about some other time. I'll be back soon. Good luck with Edwin. Well, if you see me again, then everything went swimmingly. Okay, so that starts the quest. Ally exit stage left. Rescue Beckett's friend Sage from the cult. Uh, let's see where that is. Okay, he's out here at uh, Blake's Offering, which is a new site. Let's head to Camp Venture. Alright, so it's off to the east. Let's keep heading through the swamp. Alright, looks like we're passing the next closest uh, location here. Which I think, yeah, KMAX Transmission. Not sure if this is supposed to be a radio or television. My guess would be uh, radio. Television generally has larger antenna, but uh, okay. Okay, getting very close now. I do have a uh, pre wastelander shot of this site, so I'll insert that here. Okay. So, it looks like he's in with Mothman cultists, or, uh, some, what, I, that was weird. Oh, I got the experience for finding Blake's offering, and I thought it was for that shot that I got off that did not hit the, uh, cultist. Cultist Wrath King. Okay. Where, oh. There he is. Hello, Sage. 
Yes, let's say you free sage. <sighs> hey, what if C A T really spelled dog? Thank goodness we're gonna have this guy on our team. Uh, you got anything else to say, or we just head back to Beckett now? Okay, uh, let's take a look around the site. Chapter eight. as one. Oh, bright one, we bid thee follow this sacred flame with thy ever-watchful eyes. See clear as day this holy fire we burn in your honor like cattle to slaughter. We die for thee. Bid us welcome as we beckon thee with this divine lamp that we may be blessed by the air underneath thy wings. So yeah, Mothman cultists. Um, okay, I well, I mean, we haven't really checked the full site. Let's keep looking around just real quick, see if there's anything else worth nabbing. Otherwise, I really want to avoid that sheep that sheep squash down there. Oh, looks like there might be a note down here. Beck in the call. Bright-winged one sleeps beneath the earth. The silent watching one sleeps beneath the sea. The rivers turn red and sun turns cold. When beast is sacrificed, when stars fall in the land. And the air turns to poison. When judgment day arrives, the great one awakens and will demand all pay a price to beckon in the new world. Okay. Grab that vegetable starch. Where are they getting these skeletons? Anyway, uh, let's head back to the camp. So yeah, those were definitely Mothman cultists, though. Or at least uh, that site was for Mothman cultists. It could always be the case that they uh, put in some random cultists in that cultist site. Let's talk to Beckett. Uh, he ran off, right? Yeah, he does that. But don't worry. He'll find us when he wants to. But in the meantime, words come back from Edwin. Turns out recovering his sad little diary isn't going to be enough, so... Thought of another idea. Find the stolen key to his weapons cache. Now that, and killing the traitor that took it, might be enough to flip him in our direction. It seems like Edwin is using us to do his dirty work. Yeah, I can't really disagree with you there, but see, we don't have much choice. There is no way we can take on the Blood Eagles alone. Why was Edwin's key stolen? Uh, someone from Edwin's gang decided they wanted out. Uh, honestly, Edwin can get. Uh, Pretty weird, so can't say I blame them. But anyway, this idiot thought stealing the key and then blaming it on a rival gang would cause all sorts of problems for Edwin. And, uh, they were right. I'm thinking that it was him. Let's see, who stole the key? Ah, some nobody who thinks they have it all figured out. I don't even know their name. Hell, I don't even want to know. I just want that key. Okay. The fact that he thinks Edwin is strange when we just saw Sage is really saying something. Just tell me where to go and consider it done. You do-gooders or something else. You know that, right? I'll be stuck here waiting for Edwin to make peace, so... Thanks for stepping up. Again. Why would this traitor steal the key and not clear out the cache? The weapons cache isn't really the point. This traitor is clearly trying to goad Edwin's gang and a rival gang into a confrontation. Big mistake. How did you get all this information if Edwin hasn't even shown up yet? Uh, he wasn't interested in meeting with me just yet. Uh, he can't trust me. So, he sent someone from his gang. Ronnie. She accepted the journal on his behalf and said he'd meet me here at your place soon. When he feels like it. She said I should wait for him. Okay. I'm gonna head out. Sounds good. And if you happen to find the traitor who stole the key... Offing them might uh, be a good idea. So that completes exit stage left. 
Sorry, exit Sage left. And let's see what we get for that. Right away, 5.56 five, rounds, sharp through assault rifle, some more 5.56 five, five, rounds, and a couple other things. That was weird. Uh, so we gotta do the quest out of key. I gotta scrap some stuff though before we can do that. Okay, now we gotta go find Edwin's key. Let's see where the uh, quest takes us. Okay. Is this a uh, moth home? Or is this uh, treetops? Let's find out. Back to Camp Venture. Okay. Looks like uh, treetops. We'll see soon enough, though. Is that a. Uh, yeah, honey beasts. Lovely. I'm remembering now that uh, <laughs> my Commander to Gear series was quite easy because I put on the Chinese stealth armor. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Because, I mean, otherwise, I'd probably have to fight these uh, honey beasts, and I don't really want to do that. Okay. Let's get up in these trees. Beautiful day out here. The mire is always nice during the day. A bit yellowish, I guess, but otherwise nice. This place is something of a maze up here. Man, this goes high. I forgot how high this thing goes in the trees. Okay, well, Edwin's key is here. But... There's nobody here that stole it. Which is making me even more seriously think that Beckett is the one who stole it. Uh, so let's head back to Beckett. All right, let's see. <laughs> ah, you got the key. Nice. Look at you. You're an animal. You know that? I know. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean that in a positive way, of course. Anyway, while you were gone, I reached out to Ronnie from Edwin's gang. And they want their key back, but they also want the traitor who stole it dead. The good news is, oh, we finally have a name for this genius. Bronx. <laughs> Cute, huh? Okay. This is a waste of time. I'm itching to kill some blood eagles. <laughs> alright, alright. Slow down there, killer. If we want to take down the blood eagles, we need Edwin's help. And to get Edwin's help, we need him on our side. So we take it one step at a time, okay? What's Ronnie's deal? Well, Edwin's her uncle. And someday, when he kicks it, the gang goes to her. The truth is... She's been leading that gang for years already. Having a tentative agreement with her is almost better than having a true handshake with him. How does Edwin feel about the Blood Eagles? Oh, they, uh, have a bit of a history. Edwin used to walk around with this giant fat cat perched on his shoulder. He loved that cat. I bet you can guess what the Blood Eagles did, right? <laughs> That's right. They stole his cat, skinned it, and cooked it for dinner. And they sent the bloody pelt back to Edwin in a sack. <laughs> Classy, right? Lovely. Consider Bronx dead. You got it. I bet there's a stash around there, too. So keep your eye out. You want a drink before you head out? Or what? Hear anything from Sage yet? Not yet. He's, uh, a free spirit. I love him dearly, but, uh, dependability, mindfulness, this plane of existence, yeah. Not his thing. Why is Edwin so desperate to have Bronx killed? Edwin's had numerous setbacks with his gang lately. See, it's one of the bigger, low-key raider gangs around, but he's shedding respect. And making an example out of Bronx should help him put his house back in order. Sit tight. I'll take care of this. Ooh, I kind of like this. I got the bigger plan. I find the pieces. You execute them. I feel like some sort of mastermind. Okay, so that completes out of key. And we get purified water, 5mm rounds, and a polymer strengthened combat armor left leg. And this starts the quest Allied Traitor's Demise. We have to go kill Bronx. Let's see where that takes us. 
Okay, up to Ingram Mansion. We were just there for Commander Daguerre. Alright, let's head up the long drive to, to uh, Ingram Mansion. Okay, time to sneak. <laughs> no reason to kill these cultists. I mean, so long as they're not harming me, I'm not really in the mood to harm them. Where is Look at this? that. This used to actually be a driveway. That, uh, that limo did not used to be uh, like that. Oh, there he is. I guess I was assuming as a he. I, am drawn to I think I was assuming. Life. I don't think that there was a, a sex given for them. Sounds like a woman. Okay. Probably should use a silenced weapon while attempting to sneak. But, there goes Bronx. So, let's get back and uh, talk to Beckett as soon as it registers that I've killed Bronx. Which... There we go. Okay. Let's head back to uh, Beckett. Beautiful day in the Savage Divide as well. Let's talk to Beckett. Oh, there you are, Sage. Whoa. How you feeling, pal? No time to chit chat, Beckett. <laughs> oh, I see you found a friend. You here for the party? Nah, there's no party, buddy. My friend was the one who freed you. You remember? Remember? Yeah, sure. I saw it first, felt it last. Good times. <gasps> oh, we're gonna need more cake. Wow. Okay. He is stuck in the floor of the porch. Uh, it's gonna be difficult getting any useful information from someone who clearly is under the influence of Kim's. I know he looks completely hopeless, but I promise you it was worth springing him out of that place. Sage? Buddy, pal, friend, can you hear me? Hey, I need your help. Now we're taking down the Blood Eagles. All of them. Now to do that, we need to cut off the head. You get me? No, 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 not the head. Cut out the heart, the supply at the cave. The cave, ooh, spooky. Cave, cave, cave. <laughs> hmm. Okay. The cave. Got it. And Sage, you better come back later for the other questions. Okay? And try to drink some coffee or something. You're killing me here. <sighs> okay. Thanks uh, for letting me crash here for a bit. Uh, oh, guess we have to talk to him again. Ronnie is going to be thrilled to hear the Betrayer is also dead now. What the hell was the... I, now I have even more of a question. What the hell was that? Look, Sage is... You know... Well, he's been through a lot. He just sees things in a different way. But he still sees things. You know what I mean? Okay, look. If we want to take out the Blood Eagles, we need to cut off the supply before we cut off the head. Now the cave is where the Blood Eagles store their supply of buff out. And without it, well, it'd be harder to convert new members. So I suppose Sage isn't that crazy after all. No, he's not crazy. Just misguided and burned out. And that's what messing with all these cults will do to you. What do you mean, cut off the head? See, the Blood Eagles are led by three vicious maniacs. The Blood, the Eye, and the Claw. And when I say maniacs, I'm... I'm being polite. Just give me the details. I'll do it. I bet you want a drink as well, right? Free one. On the house. Sorry. Uh, no alcohol in the free ones. How does cutting the supply help us hurt the Blood Eagles? Uh, see, regular Blood Eagles aren't the problem. No, they're the symptom. I mean, yes, they're terrible, but the three bosses are clearly building an army. As they increase the doses of buff out, the addicted become... Worse. Uh, more violent. More terrible. We have to put a stop to that. Will Sage be back? Maybe. I hope so. It's hard to know what he considers to be important to the rest of us, but... Well... I think he will. Find the buff out in the scary cave. Got it. I mean... Yes. That's a fair summer. Okay, so that completes Traitor's Demise. Which gives us 
purified water, f five millimeter rounds, a ripper, railway spikes, and 50 caliber balls. And starts the quest, supply and demand. Steal the Blood Eagle supply, a buff out for Beckett. I feel like there was more conversation options before that we didn't actually get to complete. You know that? You might as well rest up before you head out again. Hmm. Okay. Well, I thought we could actually flirt with him, but uh, I guess not. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think that'll do it for this video, because we just did uh, four of those quests, and the recording time is now over an hour, and I'm going to be able to cut a good amount of that out. But we need to save more of this for the next video. This has been the Resident Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.